This is how you install Nintendo Switch games on the ROG Ally and the Lenovo Legion. Yes, Nintendo Ninjas are on the way. So, first things first. This is me playing Nintendo Switch games on the ROG Ally. Yeah, as you can see, this is not a video. This is, this actually works, okay? This actually works. So yeah, there you have that for proof. And now, let's install it on the Lenovo Legion Go. So, you're going to go into emudeck.com or you can just go into the link in the description. And then you're going to press on download, Windows, and download beta. Because this is a Windows PC, technically, and same with this uh, ROG Ally. Gonna press on downloads. And go into the file. This is gonna do some stuff. Just press yes if you get this pop up. Press yes there. Now this is gonna do some stuff. Just wait for that to do its thing. Make sure you have the app installer app up to date in the Windows Store. So you're going to press continue. Then Microsoft Store will come up. And then basically you're going to get updates and make sure that it is updated to the latest version. And it just crashed on me, but it's okay because I already have it updated. And yeah, install Windows Package Manager, press yes. And then close. It's gonna do its thing once again. And you just follow these same steps on the ROG Ally. Boom, press yes if that comes up. This is not a virus, I can promise you that. I mean, just let it do its thing. It can't take longer, it can't take shorter. Just let it do its thing. And uh, yeah, let it do its thing. Boom, downloading MU deck. And boom, then this opens. So basically, this can take a while. On the ROG Ally, it took me about 10 minutes to go through this. Not sure about the Legion Go. It might be a little faster because it's a little bit faster. But um, yeah, I mean, we'll see. So I'm not going to press anything. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. And yeah, that just launched right away. So basically... When this comes up, you're just going to press easy mode, because why make it hard for yourself? Collecting driver names. And then, you have your main drive, and I have an SD card, which I have put right up here. And basically, I do recommend that you get an SD card, uh, because that's where you're going to put your ROMs that you, of course, legally obtain. So yeah, I'm going to press on the usb drive because i want to have my games there you can just press c if you want to but this is where i'm going to plant my roms i'm going to press install and then you're going to choose your device so i am on a asus rog no i am not on an asus rog ally i am on a Le lenovo legion go so we're going to press that and press finish if you're on the rog ally you press that and press finish yeah, you get what I mean. If you have anything else, then you do the same thing. Press on it, then finish. But I'm on a Lenovo Legion Go. Finish. This is now going to install some things. Just wait for this to load. Yeah. Yeah, so quick note. This does take a while. This thing turned or went into sleep mode twice already. So I'm just going to press yes. You're going to install that. That's obviously needed. Yeah, moving on. If you get any other pop-ups, just press yes and yeah, I mean, just let it do its thing, you know? It's not a it's not a it's not a virus or anything, okay? You can trust me. It's not a virus. All right, there we go. Controller configuration, read before continuing. Emudeck is designed to work using Steam input. So, yeah, I mean, I'll show you everything. You have to go into Steam to launch the games basically. So, you already need to have Steam. I'm guessing you already have that. Press next. 
Let's copy your games, manual copy, open emulation folder. Yeah, where I copy my games. Is this the part I need to do this? Once you have copied your files, please click on the, okay. So now you're going to need some files and I'm sorry, but I can't provide them for you. But uh, because I mean, I don't want Nintendo jail, but <clears throat> yeah, I mean, <coughs> use <coughs> Google. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, I don't know what that was. So yeah, gonna plug in my illegally obtained uh, files that I have downloaded here so you can see what they look like. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna have that on this side, that on that side. So basically, you will have a new folder since I uh, selected my SD card. I will have a new folder called emulation on my SD card. I'm guessing if you choose your main PC drive, the C, then there will be an emulation folder here. So basically, you're going to go inside of that folder and then you're going to go into ROMs. You're going to swipe all the way down to S where you see switch. And then here is where you're going to put in your legally obtained. I have definitely obtained these legally because I have physical copies. I can promise you that. Uh, you're going to take these files that we have here, for example, um, yeah, you need to illegally obtain these files, but they need to be NSP. So here I have new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So these are ROMs, Nintendo Switch game ROMs. So basically what I'm gonna do is transfer these, come on, transfer, transfer all of these ROMs, onto this folder, switch, ROMs, switch. You see that? Transfer those there. And then I'm gonna let this load. And now what you need is to go back out of the switch ROMs folder. Then you're going to go into BIOS and then Yuzu. And here you have two folders. Inside of firmware, this is where you're going to put in your Nintendo Switch firmware file, which I already told you I can't give to you. But basically, once you have gotten that from somewhere like <coughs> Google, <coughs> then you can, there will be a folder with a name like 11.17 or something like that. You open that folder and you will have all of these, a lot of these. And you're going to take these and drag these over to the firmware folder. Let this load. And then you're going to need a key or keys, which you will put into this folder. So yeah, you also need the keys. Put these there. You, yeah, you need to find all of these separately or you need to legally obtain these separately. Like, okay, you got what I'm saying. I'm sorry I can't provide them for you. But um, this video would be taken down, I'm guessing, if uh, I did. So yeah, once that's done, I'm just going to let everything here load. And uh, yeah, once that's done, I'll be back. All right, and once you've copied over all of those files, you're going to press Next. And then Steam Library. Yeah, don't need that. Launch Steam ROM Manager, finish. Then... Steam ROM Manager, and boom, there we have Steam ROM Manager. So I'm just gonna press on Add On, Add Games, Parse, and then here, you're going to find your ROM, or your files, legally obtained files. So here we have new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. You just need to swipe and just see. Most often it's these files because yeah, this asset has been removed in response to a DMCA takedown not notice, but it's just the photo, it's not the file itself. So which one should I choose? Let's do Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I'm gonna press fix and then save to Steam. This is going to load. And boom, I'm just going to take 
yeah, done adding. You can take this down, take this down, take this down. And then, yeah, I'm just going to go into Steam. Let's launch Steam. It looked like it installed all of the ROMs right away. But I'm not so sure. We'll see right now. I guess it said batch install. All right, library. And yes, it did. Okay. So here we have all your files. Yes, basically what you're going to do here is launch Reunx, the emulator. You're going to press play. Boom, key is not found. So basically what you need to do is go into file. If you get this same message, open Ryan's folder and boom. So what you're going to do is go into system. And this is where you're going to paste your uh, product keys. So keys and then here we have those. Just going to paste these. Uh, replace the file. And boom, then you're going to go into tools, install firmware. And then you can just choose which one is where you have your firmware, basically. If it's from a directory or if it's a XCI or zip file. So mine is a from a directory. It's going to go into here, here, and this will be it. Select folder. And boom, I've now selected my folder where I have that. So this is the firmware. I'm gonna press yes. Successfully installed. Boom, now you have your Nintendo Switch firmware. Now just close out of everything. Stop that, confirm. And then you're going to launch a legally obtained game. So Super Mario Bros. Wonder, I'm gonna press play. is going to load some bullshit. And you can already guess that this worked. I'm gonna plug this thing out. No need for that. And I am ready to game. All right, one more thing, the buttons don't work. So what you need to do is go into Ryanks and you're going to press on options, settings, Input and change input device from disabled to Xiput controller thingy. Press on that. Press apply. Press that a thousand times. Press OK. X out of here. And then you can launch Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And boom, that works. If you have any issues of some sort, oh, by the way, um, B button is the A button, if I'm right, yes. Yeah, so they switched that up. Um, yeah, the buttons are like turned. So Y is X, X is that, A is B, and that is, yeah, they switch everything up, okay? They switch everything up. So yeah, if you have any issues, just comment them down in the comments below. Well, yeah, now I pressed A on accident. Yeah, you know, that's how it is. You just have to get used to it. So let's jump into a game and test the performance, I guess. This is a first time boot, so it can get a little rough. And by rough, I mean low FPS, but um, that could just be because I'm running 1440p. If I'm not mistaken. 1600, yeah. Let's do this. And then try this. Still a little, a little rough. I'm gonna see if this gets any better. Yeah. So, if you can live with that, then that's fine. You, the, everything looks super. But if you still want it to run even better, and by better I mean better frame rate and everything, it will still get better, a little better, 
after you've played the game for a little while. What you're going to do is go into Steam, Ryo Jinx, you're going to press play. There are probably a lot of different ways you can optimize the game on, but I only speak from experience. So options, settings, and then on graphics, you're going to see here, you have resolution scale, you can change that, enable shader cache, enable texture. So here you can change some settings. So here, for example, I'm going to put that to 2x. It might by default be on 16x. Graphics back and multi threading. I'm going to press on. And this wants to restart. Let's see here. What else? Bill and R. And uh, yeah. Now press apply. Okay. And let's retest this. Super Mario Bros. Wonder and play. Boom. Performance should be really good. The I can I basically can't see any pixels. This looks just awesome. Little performance issues, but if you still are facing some performance issues, you can just take down the resolution and that should help you a lot, honestly, a lot. So for example, I can take this down to 18, 1280 by 800. Let's try this now. I might have to restart the game, but yeah, this should run a lot smoother right now. <laughs> I recommend that you search up some videos on how to optimize uh, your Switch emulation because I don't really know a lot about that. I'll, I'll do some research myself, but at least that's how you install Nintendo Switch games on your R ROG Ally or Lenovo Legion Go. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.